So the first drill that we usually work on is just a counter cutting drill. So from here, what I would do is cut towards Bernhardt and then he just counter cuts against me. You can use basically any cut. It doesn't matter, it's just a uh, means of practicing counter cutting in general. So from here, I begin my attack. He counter cuts and then threatens me with the point in this case. So, so he can do that. So like cut like this. Yeah. Basically the idea is just you attack somebody and they counter attack. The next drill that we do is, so we'll begin with this and we would cut into the bind. We're just cutting nicely now so that I can explain this, right? So what I do from here is I try to cut around and notice I'm on this side of Bernhardt's sword. I want to cut around to that side or just to another location and I want to be able to get around his sword whenever I want. And his goal is just using the, the Vinden to keep me on one side. So from here, if I'm, if I'm cutting like this, he just goes like that. You don't have to step into it, right? So from here, if I cut like this, he goes like that. I cut like this. So when I do get around, what he's doing is he's just changing the side that he's pushing on. So essentially, when I'm on this side, he wants to push high and low with his strong on that side. And when I get around, he wants to go high and low on this side until I cross around. I cut and I would do the counter cut I want to cut with this back edge and then from here if he displaces I want to cut with the back edge here and then go back so it kind of is a motion like this it's I'm exaggerating it but basically we just practice doing that for a bit or so like this So the idea is, the first one that you're doing is I'm going against his blade, so what I call a hard Vinden, to here, and then this one is basically a Duplirin, which is just a cut done off of a soft Vinden, or a Vinden where I'm going with him, and every time I, the only reason I'm doing that soft Vinden, or that winding with the direction that he's pushing, is just to get his strong back on my weak, like this, right? So, actually, we'll show the, uh, mechanics of the hard vending, right? So from a bind, what I want to do is get my strong at onto, not onto his weak necessarily, but towards the weak, weak end of his sword. But I want my strong to be the point of contact. So if I go here and I start trying to vend in, it's not going to work, right? Like if you resist, right? See, now we're going to get into fights like this. What I need to do is I need to get his sword to slide down onto my strong. That's the key to making this work, right? And then from here, if I've got this kind of, a, if I'm threatening him from here, if he slides his point back, what I want to do is I want to get his, I want to get his um, blade back onto my, onto my strong. So what I do is I basically reach around like this, and then what I'm going to do is, it, unless I have thrust him in that moment or cu uh, succeeded with my attack from the the soft minion, so if you go do, yeah, unless. That's the next part. Unless I succeed with this cut, I want to try to wind him back again because from here, right, we've got that. And the, your best option is basically to rewind so from here, right? someone's cutting around what you the biggest thing is you want to keep them to one side so as he's cutting right I want to keep him to that side right when you're when you're doing when you're fighting from the bind what you want to do is always hard vinden you want to succeed with the hard vinden if you cannot possibly succeed with the hard vinden uh, uh, just fighting from the bind yeah so from here if I cannot the next thing I want to do is the soft vinden and go back to the hard vinden 
The next option is when it's ideal to cut around. So from here, I don't really want to leave this position, but if he's forcing my point wide like this, now I'm going to go like this, right? And if he's pushing really hard off to the side, which is the only time this really works, is you cut like that. And I find you've got a couple options from here. So first one is in like this. That's very good, right? Another one is you can cut the um, and wrist style. Right? And then another one is if he goes high and presses it down, you just let it, let your hand pivot and go underneath. Um, all of that's in the Kufner stuff. The big idea is when they push off, you, you cut around. Other things you can do too. Right? If I'm here and he's pushing my blade down, I can do the, um, uh, he calls it dush game. Right? So from here I go like this, gets pushed down. That's my option. Again, he's pushing away. So essentially anytime he's pushing hard offline and I can't, my second binion cannot work, I just cut around in the fastest way possible. One other thing that's really useful is if you cut, say you wound high and he presses his sword down, um, like this, this kind of a thing, right? From here, it's very like, I can keep him offline so that he can't directly thrust me, but I can't cut around. If I just try to cut around, that happens and it's not good. So from here, what I want to do is push him off to the side. This happens not necessarily directly from the, uh, the Vinden. It usually happens with something like this, right? So if you cut, if he starts doing the Vinden, my best option is to, whoop, so, right? Is to cut like this, or one of my best options, right? So now from here I'm like this, and this is where the Kuchner talks about the Nemen. He talks about it when you're in the hanging guard and he's in the hanging guard, but basically anytime you're in the hanging guard and they're pressing on your blade, you've got that. A quick note, I usually the counter can be done with a Vinden. Right, so again, I cut to him, I start doing the Vinden, he winds up. This is my first defense, but say I don't exactly get that, right? Now you do the, right, from here. I keep my point on the inside, so keep moving forward. And because you're trying to cut at me, right? So this ends up being your defense. So basically, what you're usually trying to do is get your strong, we'll say, to make contact under their point, right? Somewhere about here. Uh, so the key thing is not that I'm all the way out here. It's just I'm somewhere between the middle of his sword and here. And that gives me a lot of mechanical control, right? So like this, for instance, from here, see, I can pivot, like, essentially, I can pivot quite easily and displace his sword. So that's mostly what you're going for. Again, drills are counter cutting, right? So, right, like that, um, cutting around, right? So. Like so, and you can see all those defenses are actually also attacks and fighting from the vine, right? So. Like that. So, there you go. That should be enough to get you going uh, quite a ways with Messer. The next step would be going into wrestling, but that's basically its own entire treatise.